Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That, and today I'm going to talk about the 1982 Cairo Swordsman action figure from the first wave of Kenner's Raiders of the Lost Ark series. Cairo, 1936. Indiana Jones is having a bad day. After being attacked by a bunch of Cairo street thugs and getting separated from his lady friend Marion, the crowd in front of him opens up and he finds himself face to face with a clearly skilled swordsman. This potentially thrilling fight scene turns into a comedic moment of the film when after displaying some amazing swordsmanship, Indy dispatches this villain with a single shot from his revolver. As most fans of the movie know, the scene was going to be a much more involved fight sequence and include some whip action, but the actor Harrison Ford and much of the crew was suffering from dysentery. As a result, Harrison's suggestion that he just shoot the guy instead was accepted. Still, this character's 15 seconds of screen time was enough to earn him a slot in the first wave of four figures released in the Adventures of Indiana Jones in the Raiders of the Lost Ark toy line. As a quick side note, I'm pretty sure these figures hold the record for longest title ever of any toy line. George Lucas and Steven Spielberg teamed up to make Raiders of the Lost Ark as a tribute to the old adventure serials of their youth, and apparently, their timing was perfect. Raiders of the Lost Ark was the highest grossing film of 1981. Kids and their parents loved it. Kenner had already teamed up with George Lucas to make the three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures, which had sold so well over the previous few years, so it made sense that Kenner would get the license to produce action figures in the same scale to go along with Raiders of the Lost Ark as well. Unfortunately for kids, they would have to wait until the following year for the figures to arrive at their local toy stores. That's a long time for a kid. However, Raiders of the Lost Ark had been so successful that it was re-released in theaters again the following summer. So when the figures arrived in 1982, they arrived right along with the excitement of the re-release of the film. The first wave was a relatively small one and only included four individually carded figures. Indiana Jones, Tote, the Cairo Swordsman, and Marion Ravenwood. There was also a second Indiana Jones figure in a desert disguise that came with the Map Room Adventure set. Kenner's mail-away promotions for Star Wars had gone so well that they decided to release a mail-away exclusive action figure of Belloc in his ceremonial robe as well. However, it was the regular Indiana Jones figure that all the kids wanted. Marion was sent to stores in smaller quantities than the other three-carded figures, and it became difficult to find her. Indiana Jones sold extremely well, and with only a few Marion figures in each case, that left plenty of Cairo swordsmen and Toth figures hanging around in the stores. But I was happy to have them both. The Cairo swordsman is a cool figure. Although his face doesn't exactly look like Terry Richards, the stuntman who played him in the movie, it's still a nice sculpt. I don't think many kids really cared at all if the sculpt of the figure looked anything like the guy from the movie. I mean, he was only on screen for less than 15 seconds. Most of us probably didn't even remember what he looked like. The figure in these photos was mine as a kid, and my childhood dog used him as a chew toy one day when I had forgotten to put away my toys, so this figure's head looks even less like Terry Richards. The Cairo Swordsman figure came with a cloth robe, a knife, and a sword. It would have been easy for Kenner to mold a robe onto the figure as they did with many of their Star Wars figures, so it was a nice touch that they actually gave him a cloth robe. The knife was a nice bonus as well since he really only needed the sword. The sword's what everyone remembers from the movie, but I always appreciate the extra pieces like this when they're included. I'm not surprised that most of the figures sold these days are missing the knife and sword, but it is surprising to me that so many of the figures are missing the robe. I can understand taking the robe off of a vintage Jawa. The figure under the robe still looks really cool. However, this dude doesn't look very awesome running around in his Speedo. It seems like most kids who took the robe off of this guy would have very quickly realized that that was a bad idea and put it right back on. Maybe some of them were thrown away due to mold and mildew that took over when figures were stored in basements and attics after their owners grew up, but before they decided their toys were still great. The first wave of figures was successful enough that a second wave was also released. The second wave introduced four more carded figures, Sala, Indiana Jones in a German uniform, the German mechanic, 
Belloc dressed in a white shirt and pants, plus the Monkey Man street vendor who came with the Streets of Cairo playset, which also came with a little Marion figure with no articulation that you could put in a basket. There was also a German military truck and an Arabian horse available. Although this line of action figures is actually quite amazing, and some of these figures sell for high prices today, I'm not sure how successful it was when it first came out in the 80s. I would assume that the first wave sold pretty well since the second wave made it into the stores, but I don't know how well that second wave sold. I still have the card backs from the figures that I bought as a kid, and as you can see, the prices had been marked down from $3.59 to $1.79 at KB Toys. Personally, I thought they were great at the time, and it never occurred to me that they were any less popular than any other figures on the shelves. Even today, these figures stand out to me as particularly well designed. I would have loved a third wave of figures, but unfortunately that didn't happen. On the other hand, it's pretty awesome that we did get two waves of cool Raiders of the Lost Ark figures, and I'm happy that the Cairo Swordsman was there right from the beginning. He was a cool figure that I enjoyed playing with as a kid, and I'm glad I still have him in my collection now. How about you? Did you have any Raiders of the Lost Ark action figures as a kid, or do you collect them now? What's your favorite figure from this line? Tell me in the comments below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel and click that notifications bell to be notified when I post new videos. And one last thing, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching.